Alright, how's it going, guys? I died again. I had a creeper come up here and blow my entrance up one night. And so I put in a couple doors. Got this nice blue jasper doorway I thought looked kind of cool. And just kind of set up shop here. Um, done a little bit of digging around downstairs. Actually, I've done a whole lot of digging around downstairs. And I built me a smeltery so I could uh, get me a copper pick so I can get to iron level. But there's like no freaking iron in this world. I think it has something to do with Rockhound. I've uh, been looking into it a little bit. And I actually had to go look it up to figure out if there was something with iron weird. I got down here and found that I am actually above the uh, dungeon. So I had to divert myself around. And got down here. It gets really loud around here, by the way. And found this little area here. And decided I better close it off. And kept going down here. Found these neat looking things. Which I found out if I smack the redstone ones at least. I didn't realize I had gravel. I hate that. I don't mind the torch placement, but the anything just drives me crazy. But I found if I, like, smack it when it's open, it turned to these. But for some reason, this one won't do it. And these aren't doing it either. I don't know what it is. Oh, there we go. I actually got to hit it that way. But... I also found out there's a butt ton of copper in this world. I have got copper from just about everything in here. And it might just be a little bit too much. There's a lot of tin as well, but just kind of went down here. I finally found my first osmium. I was worried it wasn't spawning. But it's pretty high level it's like 10 level yeah so I can't get it yet but I see you know gold redstone lapis just about everything I could want except for iron and part of my reasoning for putting rotary craft in this pack was because I wanted to try um, the extractor and regular uh, processing tungsten and stuff like that outside of my Greg Tech 6 world. So I need to have some iron. And I looked into, there's these ores up here called uninspected. And I think I figured out what I do with them. Because any eye doesn't tell you nothing. They don't have a tooltip on them to tell you what to do. Um, I went over to that uh, place over there that I showed you guys last time. And for a piece of paper bought this thing. Which I can't figure out a daggone thing it does. You can't place it. You can't open it. Uh, no idea what it does. I've tried to craft it with another item. Nothing. And it isn't even registered as a book because it won't go on my bookshelf. So it's going to sit there. Uh, these are the unspecified that I was talking about. I've got... Uh, which one did I put it in? Here it is. I got 13 of them here. And while I'm doing that, I snuck in that little hole and grabbed me some iron bars because I need an iron pick. 
and I figure that's one way of getting me some iron. I do have this here, which if you look it up, you can smelt into these iron lumps, which then you put four of them together, you get an iron pellet, and then you put two pellets together, you get an iron ingot. But I only have two of them. And then I have this here which you can shapelessly turn into an iron ore or just straight smelt it into an iron ingot. So I want to save this for my actual iron ore and I want to see if there's something I can do to get more iron out of that. But first thing I'm going to make is this cabinet and the support arm they can be made out of basically any metal and they are used to make a rock prospector again any metal can be used for the other parts of it so this goes here this goes here and then that goes around there and you get this thing now I have not looked at this thing so I don't know exactly what it does or even how it does it but I want to play with it and see what I can figure out can I put this in here um okay shift clicked it over there uh, I'm guessing it needs some kind of fuel Okay, so there's fuel. Not sure what that is. Uh, doesn't look like it's doing. Okay, that put it up there. Uh, that put it up there. So maybe this isn't what goes in there. And see, I don't know what that is. Um, let's try to look at and trying to do the at rockhound thing doesn't do you a whole lot of good because there's like a million things in here there's a milk tank does that look somewhat like that no that's upside down so it's not that and, uh, let's see Obsidian tank, amber collector, amber crucible. No idea what those are for. These are all the decorative blocks. It's got a million decorative blocks. Okay, now we look like we might be getting into some machine stuff here. Mine crawler assembler. I need alloy for that which is that which is iron nickel chromium holy crap that's gonna take a while I don't even know where to get chromium yet I'm guessing it comes out of okay chemical extractor which needs a sapling, redstone, beaker thing, any analyzed material. And see, they don't show the analyzing part, which is kind of weird to me. I'm trying to find something that looks right here. Um, these lamps look kind of cool. I'm going to have to try to make some of these, but i got to figure out how to get the right stuff to do it eventually. Energy generator. That looks like that's going to take a little while to figure out. Mm -hmm. 
different colored flames. There's you know, some really neat looking things in this mod, but very kind of strange how you gotta try to figure them out here, I guess. There we go. Iron Wedge. That looks almost perfect for what I need, but I need iron for it. So don't that look like that? To me, that looks like that. So let's look at this other thing and see if we can figure anything out with it. And it is a sieve. Wait a minute. What is that? Open block scaffold. Hmm. So we got our sifting grid. And then we need some more sticks here. I know we need two sticks there. We need that there. And I think... I need some more uh, ingots. So let's grab two. Oh, I already had the two copper in there. Let's get this last thing of iron bars done here so I can make my iron pick. And we'll get this copper out of here and try to make this sieve. Now from what i seen in this book because I grabbed these two. There's a sieving that I got. Um, extra ores. This thing to me doesn't tell me nothing. Um, sieve consists of filtering soft blocks. Chance to get their drops. Loss of the thing. Um, uh, just place the block on top of it. You got sand, gravel, um, clay, dirt. Each one has a different chance of giving you different stuff. None of it looks like it's what I need, but I want to try it out and see. And then this thing here has these different things that tell you the tier I'm guessing to mine them. Pyrite should be iron. Cannot find it. Um, it says level 1 slash 30. I'm wondering if that's the level you got to mine on to find it. If so, uh, I've gotten down to lava level, so I might just have to do some tunneling down there, see if I can find some that way. Uh, unspecified material, level 20 to 220. It says it can be disabled, but it doesn't say what you do with it. No freaking clue. Alright, so crap on a cracker. I need to get this water out of here and go get some uh, more lava. Oh, and I found this. I have no idea which mod adds it. If it's a realistic mod or what. But it's kind of weird. Uh, where's that? Not that rock pile. Ah, here it is. Dispensers with uh, fireworks in them. I have no idea why they're here. But there's a whole bunch of them. And I have no idea why they're here. There's three more over here. So, one of these days, I might just have to set all of them off. But for right now, they're just kind of sitting there. Anyways, I need to... 
I went and got this water down. Found a water spot downstairs, and I need to set me up a farm. So I figured I'd just go snag it from downstairs, bring it up here, because I don't have a uh, river anywhere near here. Uh, closest one's way over there. So I figured I'd just get me a block of water. So let's go and get some lava. I thought I had enough left in there to do what I needed. Now we got to go buy all these noisy butt heads down here. Gotta love my nice messed up staircase here. Oh, that's bedrock. Forgot to turn. Alright, so let's head back up here. Let's see if we can get this done. And thanks for watching and, uh, Hopefully you guys will keep enjoying watching me figure some of this stuff out. Most of what I'm going to do here for probably the first few episodes is going to be uh, playing with this Rockhound mod. Trying to figure some of this stuff out. And uh, I have Twilight Forest in here I do believe. If not, I'll plop it in, and if I have too much trouble finding iron ore, I'll just make a run in there and take out some uh, small hills and get me some iron ore that way. Uh, that way we can get into rotary craft a bit. And some of the other mods that are going to need iron. Um, I want to get into Tech Reborn. And kind of check out how they've been doing with that kind of stuff. Let's see. one. How do I got one nugget left? That's weird. Oh well. I got enough to get my pick. That's what makes me happy. And now we can get this copper out of here. And I'm going to have to make another copper. So I can fix the pick that I have. Which, by the way, I changed the configuration for this. I can get the diamond and the emerald and luck and attack type of things. But I cannot get, like, Silk Touch, Auto Smelt, um, Repair, any of those as rewards. Those I have to put on myself. Um, so I'm probably going to have, like, I'm in, uh, the durability stuff, Reinforced and Emerald and Diamonds on just about all my tools since I have everything else disabled. Uh, I probably should have changed it a little bit more. Huh. Alright, so... Got something out of here. What is it? Cobblestone dust. So, what the heck do I do with that? I can make reinforced concrete with filtered sand and water. Or I can make cobblestone. Hmm. And what is this thing I got? This is an emolite. And it can be used to make an emolite block. 
six of them. Or I can trade a guru for a gold nugget. Hmm. And then what do I do with this thing? Cut it into different stuff. Okay. So is that like all I'm going to get out of here is this stuff? Just throw shit everywhere. That pretty much looks like what I'm going to get out of dirt. And it looks like I get a chance to get dirt back. Since I have one in a different slot there. So let's look at sand here. And see what we get out of here. something. We got a garnet shard. And what do we do with those? We can put them on axes to lay, give them more durability. And one more attack as well. Or on just about any other tool. We can make garnet dust. Which will make an abrasive block, cutting blade, abrasive lap, hmm. And the abrasive block doesn't show it has a use. That's interesting. It's weird that it can only go on wood tools, though. I'd want to put it on something other than wood. But, who knows. And now I got some of that filtered sand so I can make concrete. I just need this quick lime stuff, which is from limestone dust. And it doesn't... Okay, so... Limestone in the cutting station is how we get limestone dust alright so I'm gonna need to look into the cutting station and I seen that in here a few minutes ago how do you make this beaker thing it's just glass panes Alright, so probably ought to make one of those. How do we make this cutting station thing? Let's see here. Cutting station. It's going to be any type of metal, some track, and logistics chip. That's going to be easy, but we have Railcraft in here, so making tracks is going to be a bit of a pain, unless we use Osmium, because uh, we're going to have to get the rail, um, the rolling machine to roll them out, or i got to find a uh, abandoned mine shaft. I'm going to see what I can do to get some iron to get this thing to work. It looks like I might need water in here as well. I just noticed that. Uh, let me make another bucket. I'm probably going to go back down there in the mine shaft and grab me some more iron bars out of there and use that for right now to get my iron and go down and kind of mine around on uh, bedrock level see if I can find some pyrite and uh 
see what I can figure out with this thing. But that's what I'm going to do to get the iron for that one part I needed there. And once I get this iron head put on this pick, come down here and see if I can get it up to 10 level, grab some more of this other stuff I have around here, do a bunch of mining, and get back with you guys in a few days, hopefully, probably, and, uh, let you know what I figured out, but it definitely looks like getting iron is going to be a bit uh, of a pain, uh, um, and I gotta find a diamond before I can go to the twilight, and so far, haven't found any, I haven't found anything that even resembles a diamond yet, and I'm probably going to once I can make some bronze armor. I know there's uh, thermal expansion armor for about every different level. But I'm going to go with bronze. Let's see. Can we put this in here? Okay. Doesn't take it. Huh. I have no idea. Alright, well. I'm going to get to work. See what I can get done. Like I said, I'm going to make some armor as soon as I can. And probably go take on a bit of this uh, dungeon. Maybe I can get some armor off of guys in there. To help me get some uh, iron as well. And get back to you guys, like I said, in a couple days. And let you guys know what I found out. So, take it easy.